We got Carol, Jimmy, Timothy, Bob, Joe, Farrell, Carlos. Absolute legends, dude. I just got hypnotized by them birds. Yes. Here's the thing, we can make a par on this hole, but we need to make a birdie at some point, even though it gets harder as our clubs dwindle. Welcome back to another Stephen Casey video. Today we are out here at Palm Beach National Golf Course. We have Mikey D, I don't, the owner's like right over there. He just hit a golf ball into his foot. But he's over there chilling. Um, today we're doing the 14 Club Challenge. Once again, I'm doing another old video I did. I just like doing these and seeing if I got any better. Maybe got worse, probably got worse. I'm sorry, it's windy today. It's not very fun, but basically what 14 Clubs is you take 14 clubs and you see how many holes you can get through with just those 14 clubs. So that means if you hit a driver, it's gone. You hit a three wood, it's gone. You hit a whatever club next, it's gone. So what we're gonna be playing is a par five, par four, a par three. Hopefully we get through this par four once again, but it's gonna be five, four, three, four. That's way too many. If things. we made it through all of them, that would mean we'd have to make two birdies to make it through the, the furthest I've ever gone is the I only made it through three holes last time. Don't, we're gonna make it further. So it's basically just gonna be me and Sharp out here and trying to shoot some low scores. But anyways, if you're new, subscribe, if you're old, subscribe, there's another option. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. You boys have been killing the subscribe button and, and like button. Leave some comments about Florida because I have a bunch of videos I'm just filming. I'm stocking up before I go back to Dallas and we're just gonna have some fun. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm guessing three full holes, no, three and a half full holes. Hopefully we can get through four. We just gotta make some birds. And the hole we're gonna be starting on is a long, three hundred. actually it's not long. It's like 398 yards par four as you can see it's pretty much dead straight the goal here is a birdie yes. a birdie and we are going we're going to be using out of my bag because i have exactly 14 clubs let me see i want to go first you already messed it up once I literally had a draw on that and the wind literally just took it let's do the opposite of each other today the goal is a three on this hole Yes, yes, wind is gonna hit that perfectly. Look at the ball moving in air. That is fighting the wind. Good shot. Since we are scrambling, this is what I did last time, we did scramble. With the scramble, we sh should be able to go pretty low. We are 100, about 15 yards out, wind left to right. I'm sorry for the wind, guys. I, I can't control this. Let's look at the clubs that Steven has. I have all my irons. I have my 54 degree, 60. I switched out my 56 because I have that 54. 52, driver, three wood, hybrid, and the rest of just irons and my putter. So right now, what we don't have is we no longer have a driver. Hello, That's fine. We can If we can make birdie on this hole, we have a chance of playing the part three. Now, what are we gonna hit, Steven? With 52, club down. Keep it under the wind. Let's do that. Wind, hit that wind. It is. Okay, uphill putt. That is good. Wow. That is really good. The wind helped that. That thing would have been in the bunker if there was no wind. Sharp, 52 degree as well. Yeah, that wind. Look at it tried to draw. It's just not there. The draw is not there. Well, here's the thing. We can make a par on this hole, but we need to make a birdie at some point even though it gets harder as our clubs dwindle. We got up to the green and we noticed that my putt is a lot longer than I thought. Matt went over here. So we are gonna bring a putter and a 60 degree because we're not gonna need a 60 degree around the greens because we're gonna be hitting the greens, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be nice if we made an, a birdie off the first because that would help us out on the long run. I'd like to be able to hit a tee shot on the fine, like on the fifth hole. That would be legendary. So that'd be two birdies. All right, Steven actually put us in a solid position. We are a little long, but it's an uphill putt. Okay. You do what you want with that knowledge. We have a tap in with the 60. Go, 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 go. Yes! Made yes! It. Shut up! Yes! Shut yes! Up, Yes! Okay, 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 okay. That is one of the best starts you can have. We have made a birdie on the first. We used a driver, 52, and a putter. So those clubs gone. And now we're going on to a par three. Dude, so if we throw one close and tap in with like another wedge, that'd be clutch. Shut up, Steve! 153 yards, par three, straight down wind. We have to hit the same club, which is the issue. So what would you be comfortable with? I'll hit it. Like 53, well, I would be hitting 52 degree. That's the thing. So, P so wedge. Uh, we can we can choke up on a P wedge. We decided to hit a P wedge. It's a Matt's gonna be choking you up on it. It's kind of a full swing for me. 158, kind of downwind with my draw. Pin location. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah. 
No. I hooked no, it. that one splashed. I hooked it into the water. Yeah, it's a very smooth. Gosh, I messed that up bad. I hate putting my hope on you. Oh, I just made birdie for us. I'll let it slide. Life you went almost getting up, barely getting over the water. Are you sure? Literally barely. I <laughs> guess I should have swung. We can make a three on this since we have our birdie already in the bag. So we can still use a 60 since I made birdie on the last hole. So 60 and some sort of iron would be the play. Like up to a nine iron? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine iron. I At no point should we be a nine iron out. It should be either a higher wedge or a lower wedge. So getting rid of the nine iron, I think is a smart play. We just got to get this up and down. I don't have a ball. Yeah, here's where Matt has landed. I mean, he barely, I mean, by two or three feet, he cleared it, literally. You know where to land it, Steve. Bruh. Huh? It's on buck. You kind of flipped at it. I, I tried to get her up and straight down. Or make it. What a good shot. Woo! Man, I'm playing good today. Matt, I'm not going to lie. Matt's playing good. We get to tap in with our nice little nine iron. I want to tap this in with my left hand upside down. Light work. All right, dominating the game okay. right now, bro. We're, we're doing here. Caddy, take my gloves. All right, we're actually playing really good. So, so far we have no driver, no 52, no P wedge, no 60, and no nine. So we have got rid of five clubs, nine left. Honestly, this is going pretty good. We can get through a couple more. If we can get through two more holes and hit a drive on the fifth. I will be so, that'll, that'll do me. That'll do me good. All right, so we've made it on hole number three. We are still one under par through two. I think that we're going to use a three wood on this next hole because it's a fairly short par four. So I think we'll have one of the wedges, like our 56 or something in yeah. whatever wedge you have. Um, I like three wood. So we'll have a three wood and then one of our wedges we will have in. Hopefully we can make another birdie so we can continue on playing because that is the only goal in this challenge. The goal is to go through those uprights to those two trees. Yeah, let me explain the hole. So as you can see, if you go straight over these trees, we'll have a perfect shot into the green. If you go to the left, You'll be all right. You go to the right, also be all right because you'll be in another fairway. But the goal is to cut it right through the middle. No. I mean, it'll be it'll be over, but who knows where? Freak! I hit it hard, but I hit it off to the right. It stinks. I'm gonna start it at that top tree and let it go left instead of going right. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, Steve at three wood. What? I did it. I did it. I did what I said. That'll, that should be literally perfect. A perfect yardage in for us. Hey, we get another birdie. Hey, I did what I said. <laughs> you clipping trees, man. That, hey, what it is went, that? Did I say I was going to cut it, start it right, and go left? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, another good shot. We have a, should have about a little over 150 into it. Hey, we're doing good. It's The last couple holes are going to be the most challenging because you're going to have zero clubs to choose from. But send it, you know? Just send it. Yeah. Okay. You you roll up on the course and these sun bucks are looking at you on what the first the? hole. What are you doing? Look at these sun bucks. Dude, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them. Literally, there's my golf ball, but. What's going at you, man? Carlos, get over here. Hey. Oh, I go on like animal adventures literally every time I'm at a, I'm at a golf course. Here's, here's some more grass. Dude, this is scary. There's some more. And some more. Bro, they are way too close for comfort. So we got Carol, Jimmy, Timothy, Bob, Joe, Farrell, and Carlos. Absolute legends. Dude, I just got hypnotized by them birds. Let me know what those birds are, because I've been seeing a lot of weird animals in Florida. I just let them be, but I definitely could take some on the airplane and take them home. We are just inside 150, Steve. So we've lost our nine iron and our pitching wedge, but we do have an eight. An eight, I like an eight. That's a smooth eight for me. All right. It's not a smooth eight for me. It's well inside of, it's probably pitching wedge full maybe for me. See, it's hard to, it's hard to swing smooth at a club, Steve. Whenever I try to swing smooth at a club, if it's not like a 54 or, or like 60 or my wedges, everything goes wrong and I get uh, like a hook going. All right, Sharf. Playing a slice up in there, get on the green. What the kick? That was a terrible kick. 
one's actually gonna be pretty solid. That kicks straight right. Anyways, uh, both shots off the green. Mine actually might be the one we played because it wasn't as bad as Sharp's because he's pretty bad. But anyways, we went a little left. We can get up and down for another par and then try to birdie the last hole so we have one shot in. And this is just kind of hit a standard. I'd like to do this like once a month and see how far we can go on each course that we play. Yeah, we'll see. All right, here's where my bow landed. Matt landed over there. Let's use my 54. I like that. 54 and a... Uh, seven, I guess. But no, let's do four. Yeah, because I can't hit my four anyways. It'd be easier just to use it on the putting green. 54 in the door. As you can see, this is going to be a tough shot. But nothing is impossible when you're when you have a bird watching you. It's literally, before you get to the pin, it's just a, a hill that does this. So... Ah. Get up. Ah. That ain't it. That ain't it. Open it up and do what I did though. Just get it over the hill. On the back side would be ideal. I question myself, Steve. It was not opened up it, enough. Short, obviously. If we miss, we just tap in with the five iron or the four iron. Sit. <laughs> Some people, you know. You want to get your purse out next time and maybe hit it? Now we actually have some meat on the bone for our bogey, aka this is our five iron. Well, if I what take it first, like you're gonna make it. God, you suck! No, this is good because the next hole it's gonna be a crosswind, so we'll have a little bit of wind. <laughs> but here's what we have left: we have a six iron, a seven iron, and a hybrid. Oh my! That's not okay. Hybrid off the tee, six iron in, seven iron tap in. Sure, sure. We made it through three holes. I'll take that. I'm not gonna lie. All right, this is a 412 yard. Okay, this is a beast of a hole. 412 yards off the tee with a hybrid. You know who goes first? Give him my ball. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's going to be pretty difficult. This has to be a smoke. I can hit this thing on track, man, about 230. I'm going to have to hit it about 250. Yeah. To leave us how much in? 412, so we'll probably leave us a seven or probably six with the win. No! That would have been so yummy. That'll definitely be a six iron in. Jesus. I clipped that tree. I tried to play it over that, the fade over the wing wong and the wing wong didn't do it, so. Yeah, let's just make it harder and go another yard backwards. That is not good at all. It's over there in the bushes. This You just made it so much more difficult, don't you? All right, we're probably gonna be taking my ball, which is behind a bunch of trees. We're gonna go see if Matt's is even in play. I mean, playable, who knows anymore at this point. The West Palm and it's wind, I cannot stand it at all. This is just atrocious, but here's where Matt has landed. There's just so many trees in the way. I was back there, a bigger tree was in the way, and Matt thinks I didn't hit it as far as him. Little man, but we're gonna hit a six iron. We are way beyond, way beyond a six iron out. We're gonna have to find a way to get up and down six and seven iron. No, no, no. Swinging hard does not help in the wind. Yes, it does. You idiot. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you swing hard, Steve. Let's see you do something. All right. I'll get another one in play. Playing with Matt's like playing with an elephant. It just doesn't work out. The harder you swing, the higher it's going to go, Matt. Come on. I couldn't play a low shot though, that's the thing, because there's no... I don't want to hear the excuses no, anymore. I, I don't want to hear the excuses. Hey, we have to make a 7 iron from about 50 yards, which... Is it likely? Yeah, I guess so. Let's grab my ball. Alright, here's where we landed. 7 iron. Um, this is where that legendary... Pull out happened. Pull out happened that you guys saw about a week ago. On... And good, good. Garrett literally chipped one in. I want to see if I can't do it again. We're going to finish this hole just for fun. That would have been really good. Some days golf is just beats the crap out of you, and right now it's it's literally putting me down and literally beating the crap out of me. Kind of like Maddie does the shark. Nothing wrong with living in my cage. All right, I got a little seven iron here. Yeah, oh really, Matt? <laughs> Dang it! I but, gave it a good run. All right, so 
Is one of us is playing? Not you. Um, uh, uh, so we're gonna tap that in with the seven to see what we see see what we just shot. But we made it to the first fourth hole. We, let's calculate it to the pin. How far are we away from the pin on the fourth hole? So the fourth hole, we're gonna go see how far we were away. And I'm just gonna put this in my notes. I play it on a different course. It gets the adrenaline flowing. So basically, we have about. Four yards, aka 12 feet. Not too bad, about a 12 footer here. Cool. Like it. Okay, okay, this is it's happening with our seven, even though the game's over. What is that? What literally Dude, is I that? It's better, it's way more close. Look at how much closer it is. In you here. didn't even give it a rant. Might would have had a chance a to go. <laughs> <laughs> Face it, Steve. I'm trying to have a match. Anyways, well, that was a 14 club challenge. It made it out the struggle, 12 feet away. Unfortunate, but it's how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was windy. I literally have sand in my eyes. It was very windy. Not what you want to see, but it, it, it's Florida. What can, what can you say? West Palm, it's like super windy because we're next to the coast. Very irritating, but we're in Florida. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will catch you in the next one. Peace. Bradley, you look like a noodle face.